what is happening guys welcome back to another video here at wicked garage in front of me we have a 2017 f450 platinum and this is our next flatbed service body build series As you can see, it already has a body on the back, but he does not want this body. He wants a custom body built by us. And if you can tell, which you probably can't, this is a repeat customer. He had the 2024 GMC build, the service body flatbed. And I am doing pretty much the exact same thing with a few different um, modifications to it. Now this body is for sale currently as I put this video out. Uh, if you are interested in buying this, it's pretty much brand new. Um, obviously you can see it's it's a little bit dirty, but uh, it's in great shape. The guy had a wrap on it previously, or the previous owner did. And um, you know, he didn't really use this much just for like a show truck. And I believe he had mats on the back or something because the floor is pretty much in really good shape. As you can see, there's just that little rust area right there, which looks like it's just like a rub. He might have had a um, fuel tank or something on there. But other than that, I mean, it's in really good shape. You can see the boxes weren't even really used. Yeah, actually, I don't even think they were used at all. It was just more of like a showpiece rather than a, um, a work style truck. But... I will leave the info in the description below. So we got a few changes coming to this bed. Obviously, as you can see, this is the back of this current CM style hauler bed. And um, instead of doing the open area like I originally did on the previous build, we're going to follow that all the way down and sort of make a true skirted bed. We're going to also do a radius or round wheel well and uh, match it up because as you can see these don't match up well way off so we're going to make that so that it matches up really nicely and has an even gap all the way around so it looks nice uh the lights are going to be changing a little bit we're only doing two lights they're just going to go in the back area and then we're going to be doing a piece coming down to sort of stiffen the steps and the back end and such and then we're going to be putting a a reverse light pod so that's how that is sort of going to be and then the biggest change which as you can see, there's like this little profile for the hauler bodies, a goalie, and you know, it just makes it a lot nicer to get a gooseneck trailer hitch on or anything like that. So he actually wants to make the entire bed this height all the way across. In order to do that, I actually have to get rid of the three extra three inch um, channel going all the way across to support the floor which isn't a big deal because all we have to do is instead of the four inch channel frame rail, we're going to do a four by two box tube heavy gauge wall for the frame rail. And then we're gonna be putting the three inch channel, which will be the next size up than what I normally do. And that'll uh, create some strength and everything on there. And then on top of that, we're gonna be putting a 316th floor down. So it's really gonna tie everything together. It's really gonna be strong.
guys so we just got done grinding these all up cleaning off the slag and such uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through mark the outsides and insides and then uh obviously these get the face bends and then this will get a extra corner bend so i had to mark everything out so that everything is what it should be so there is no errors when we go up there and they start bending everything but we got the sides right here and then those are the bottoms uh the bottom is actually a lot bigger than the top uh this all the bottoms this is the top bend that goes down on a 45 so that'll get bent on the ends and uh, make up that 45 I'm just making it a little bit simpler because I had to cut the other boxes because they're just so big of a sheet and so heavy of a sheet to bend into one like uniform box and most of these uh, manufacturers actually do it the same exact way where it's just like pieces and then they're just tacked together. The only difference is they do thinner and they bend tabs on uh, the two sides so that this can sit on top and all that. But I made it to where I can do a nice uh, fillet weld in there and then we'll weld that on the inside and clean it all up. They'll look nice and good and exactly the way they need to be. So. We will uh, get back into this. I got to mark everything. And then we have to wait until Monday to go there and get all this stuff bent. Guys, we just got these bent yesterday. Got this all pretty much settled what we need bent and uh, we cut these out got these all cleaned up now we can enter the phase of actually putting everything together and tacking it together cutting everything that we need to cut in order for everything to fit correctly um, you can see the profile on this we have a 45 up top that's going to be the back side and then these are going to be going behind it long way one is a 18 by 48 inch toolbox that's about 15 and a half inches deep and then the other is a 33 by 46 uh, and that is going to be roughly 21 inches deep make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already like comment and share the truck will be coming next week uh, possibly monday tuesday and then i will be taking off the bed then we can start doing it because it's a little bit different than the cabin chassis I did on the last one.
guys. So as you can see, we got all four of the boxes done. The 48 inch boxes have the back plate on. The bigger boxes we need to adjust and make sure everything fits within uh, specs of the truck. So I sort of kept that with the backs off because I have to cut it anyway. So I figured why not just you know cut it once instead of two, three times. So everything is tacked together, everything's good. They're all symmetrical, they all match each other. And um, the floor is a little wavy here, that's why they look a little weird, but uh, everything is pretty much like sort of welded. It's not fully welded out. Uh, I like to leave at least some way of getting this apart if it has to be changed, but nothing should have to be changed. And um, yeah, these are gonna go on the truck and I hope you subscribe to the channel and like and comment and share this series. Uh, this is part one. We will be coming back in the next video and starting to get everything done on the truck itself. So now that we have it here, we can take the bed off. We can uh, mark out the frame setup and everything, get that all welded together and start setting everything on there and shaping this into a new flatbed service bed or service flatbed so see you guys in the next video the next episode and peace out